Slow biz is ideally a B to C or business to consumer business model. That is the slowest type of business that you can grow. Not saying that it's impossible to grow, right? It's not impossible. It just takes, it requires a lot of time and it rewards you with a little bit of money. types of businesses and ideally depending on the type of business you have it will determine your altitude in finances it will determine how much money will be flowing or be, will be able to flow through your business number number one the first type of business is a slow biz slow biz is ideally a b to c or business to consumer business model. That is the slowest type of business that you can grow. Not saying that it's impossible to grow, right? It's not impossible. It just takes, it requires a lot of time and it rewards you with a little bit of money. So you spend a lot of time making a little bit of money when it comes to a slow biz because a slow biz, the B2C consumer, you're getting one customer at a time. If you don't have a huge marketing plan or a, huge, a system in place to pump out results or to pump out uh, fulfillment for, for this particular type of business model, especially for those who are service-based, like it can really crawl a turtle. <laughs> so your business can really crawl like a turtle. I remember when I had a B2C business model um, and the, the number one thing that really stuck out for me was how much time I was spending in my business working on my business instead of working on my bank account <laughs> or working on my finances, right? So I was spending 70 to eight hour work weeks making a little bit of money, which means that basically I inherited a job that gave me reverse success, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? So many of you will probably identify with this because maybe you do have a slow biz and, and part uh, particularly maybe you have not, um, been rewarded like the type of uh, results that you uh, set out to achieve right uh, meaning meaning that maybe you're burnt out from spending so much time to make a little bit of money and at the end of the day you feel undervalued and if that is the case you potentially probably have a slow biz now on this value ladder which i'm going to show you exactly how this works a slow biz ideally is a person that brings in or an entrepreneur or a business that brings in zero to potentially about $80,000 a year, but you're working full time. And say you put that same amount of effort into working for, you know, corporate America, you probably will break even, right? Or you probably will be making more working for someone else because not only do you get paid your hourly rate, but you also have um, benefits and all these other fringe benefits that basically gives you more value than this, zero to 80 dollars that you're working for right so just stick with me just go with me just know that this is not a solid number this is just a range of numbers based off my research of knowing the b2c business model and from my own expertise and, and experience of knowing how the slow biz can work now slow biz is the first business model there's a flow biz and then there is a grow biz right so slow biz, ideally, getting back to the number one, there's three things that you want to do when it comes to the slow biz. You want to resist, you want to refer, and you want to remember. Three things you want to ideally do. You want to resist the customer chase. I'll just put CC. Resist the customer chase because when it comes to chasing customers, of course, you can easily get burnt out, right? Um, and then you don't want to have customers that you have to chase around and they're putting you off until tomorrow and then they, they want to bargain shop and all those different things. Well, that is what happens in a slow biz and that is what happens when you're actually chasing the wrong type of customer because a real customer is someone that you don't have to chase. But at least by knowing these different things, you're aware of who you are are selling your products and services to or attempting to sell your products and services to. So you wanna to refer to customers, which means when you do consume or gain a customer or a client, 
You want to ask for referrals. Not only do you want them to refer you, which will kind of help you out in this slow biz model, right? You want them to refer you. You want to do, of course, an excellent job and deliver above and beyond, you know, what their expectations are so that they're happy to refer you to other friends and other colleagues and all those different things, which kind of helps you save time from chasing the customer because now you have a customer that has been referred to you. But you also want to refer your customers to other sources, right? Um, That can help them move the needle as well. So say like you're serving a client in the area of, let's just say event planning or something like that, right? So not only can you do an excellent job doing their event for them, but you can also refer them to perhaps a second, another venue and have a relationship with the venue to where now you're getting a a fee off referrals, you know, venue referrals. And that kind of adds a little infusion, cash infusion into your business to where, you know, you're not necessarily doing the work, but you're going through a referral system. People are referring um, clients to you and you're referring clients um, on a fee base, um, uh, a relationship basically on a fee base uh, s- scenario uh, to other vendors or other resources that they can use. And then this way, not only are you able to get some of your time back for referring them, but you're also able to get paid. So anyway, so these are the, the three key points to um, a slow biz, some things that you want to, you know, keep in mind, you want to resist the customer chase, you want to refer to customers, and then you also want to remember your clientele, right? You want to remember your clientele. You want to remember the customers that you wrote in your business plan. Who are they, right? You want to remember these things is be- because if you find yourself constantly chasing customers and getting little to um, not very many referrals and not really building relationships, then you want to go back to the basics and look at, well, who did I say my customer was in your business plan, right? Your target audience. And if you said that person was, you know, a woman or a man between the ages of like 30 and 65 who has a college degree, then that potentially could be the problem, right? Because we're targeting the demographics of individual people versus the demographics of people who have money, right? (laughs) Because you got to have money in order to purchase and buy things, right? You got to have money or leveraged money opportunities to be able to grow a business, right? (music) 